Hey, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hello. Thank you for being here. My name is Kat and on here we talk about style, fashion, shopping, stuff like that. So if that sounds cool to you, please like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you know when the next video comes up. I have videos every Monday, but I tend to have surprise videos as well and you don't want to miss them. So today I am outside my favorite Goodwill and we're going to go shopping. Let's do it. Today we will be talking about one of my favorite topics, which is finding designer items at the thrift store. I will also show you the coolest and most interesting items that I found while I was on this thrifting adventure. My first tip for finding designer at the thrift store is to pick your location carefully. What you're looking at right now is the designer bag section at this Goodwill location. And that might be unheard of for your area, or you may have multiple locations that have this. If they have this, there probably will be more designer within the store. I would extend this to any store that has a locked case where they set things aside. If the things within the locked case seem legit or seem high-end, there's probably more high-end stuff within the store. I really liked that Weekender bag there. That was one of the Target designer collabs. And then look at this Pendleton bag. I've never seen a Pendleton bag at the thrift store before. This one unfortunately had a fair amount of damage, but had it not, I would have gotten it. But back to our first point. You might be saying to me, Kat, there are no locations in my area that have a locked case. I never see anything like that. Fair. Some of my locations are like that as well. I am lucky in that I have a bunch of Goodwills around me so I can be a bit choosy and go to different ones. That may not be the case for you, but you might be able to visit somewhere while traveling. And if you can, I would pick the location based on who might be donating there. It does also make a big difference whether the store is also a donation center. I find that stores that are also donation centers in my area tend to have better stuff. Look at how Y2K fabulous these pants are, by the way. And these next pants look like a Thanksgiving costume to me. Anyway, no shade if you love those. But I would consider the demographics. What shopping centers are near there? Do they have designer stores? Do the people that live around there seem like they would buy online from designer stores if it's not readily available in the area? I would ask questions like that. Even more than income sorts of demographics, what is available to these people to buy? Because if they've never bought it, they can't donate it. My next tip is to know what you're looking at. And that is different than knowing what you're looking for, though that can be helpful as well. But in this case, I'm referring to if you came across a designer piece, would you know that that's what it is? And there are a couple of elements to this. The first one being, do you know a lot of designers? Back in the day, I used to go to this Savers that I now realize had very interesting high-end pieces. But because I was young and I hadn't done very much research, I didn't know what I was looking at. And now that location is gone and I'm so sad because now I think I would go find amazing stuff there. So if you're never finding designer, yes, of course it could be the case that people in your area just don't buy designer, so it's not in any of your locations. But there could be designer pieces that are just designers that you haven't heard of yet. So being very educated on that might help you score some of those items. The other element to this tip is knowing when something could be designer while you're looking at it. And a lot of this comes down to detailing, fabrication, the fit and cut of something. And I now know when to Google something. I don't know every single designer. I don't know every high-end brand. Of course I don't. And I don't expect you to know that either. But if you feel something that seems like really good quality, those are items that are worth looking up because you might find that it is a much higher quality item than you even expected. My next tip is to look at every single item on every single rack. 
And this may not be practical at certain sizes of stores, but at pretty much all of the ones that I go to, you can go pretty quickly and still look at everything. And I really do mean everything. I even take a quick spin through the children's area and the men's area, just in case anything from women's has been misplaced or miscategorized. That does happen. But while I know that everyone may have varying degrees of comfort in terms of looking at every single size, every single rack, if you want to find designer, you really do need to dig for it. And you might find it on a rack that it's not supposed to be on and it'll still be your size. So thrift stores, there's a lot of merchandise and the employees work very hard, but it can be a very difficult place to keep everything straight. So don't assume that all of the sizes are in the correct place. Look everywhere and you'll be much more likely to find those high-end and designer pieces that you're interested in. And that leads us very nicely into the next tip, which is if you see something cool, keep looking because there might be more of it. Items do tend to travel together in thrift stores because of the nature of donation. So if you are looking for size 12 dress pants and you find some interesting designer ones, look even harder and keep your eye out specifically for dress pants because there might be more that were donated by the same person. I can't tell you how many times I have seen a certain brand and then seen a bunch more of that same brand during that same thrifting trip. So it really is worth it to keep searching because there definitely could be more. And that could be true of brand, level of quality, or sizing. And here I am, I found very interesting dance costumes this day. I do costume a show that I direct, so I pick up a lot of costume items. This is a costume item as well that I did buy for the show. And if you wanna see everything that I bought, I will show you what I picked up at the end, but I'm going to do a separate try-on haul, so be sure to be subscribed so that you see that one as well if you're interested. And if you haven't tuned in for my thrifting content before, the reason that I'm crouching down and trying these on by just holding them up in front of a tiny mirror is because all of the Goodwill locations in my area have removed the fitting rooms. So I will actually link below. I have a video that I did where I talked about some of the things that I'm doing to work around that issue and still end up with items that are useful and that fit. So if you're interested in that, in case your area does the same thing, or if you find yourself thrifting in an area without fitting rooms, maybe you can benefit from some of my tips. And my last tip is both a tip and perhaps a word of caution. And it is to be aware before you go shopping, before you pick up the items, what you're willing to do in terms of fixing the garment, mending the garment, taking the garment somewhere to be fixed. You may encounter designer items that have been donated because there's a stain or a missing button or something like that. Are you willing to replace a button? Maybe you don't mind fixing a hem that's fallen down, but you don't want to get stains out or you don't know how. Certainly you could go home, watch some videos, learn how to get stains out, but if you're not actually going to do that, then it's not a great deal. So my word of caution is to not let yourself get overwhelmed by the excitement when you do find designer. So make sure that you're still shopping based on quality, based on what you want to wear beyond it just being designer. Now let's head home and I'll show you what I ended up picking up on this thrifting trip. So the first item is this mini dress from Jay McLaughlin, which is a brand that I love and is a fabulous one to pick up thrifting because it runs pretty expensive at the store. This one looked like someone had hemmed it at home. It is rather short, but it's such a summery and stretchy fabric. I wasn't too worried about it. Next up, this pair of capris, and these are actually beta brand which is a brand that I've seen thrifting a couple of times, but I don't own any myself. I have heard great things though, so I was excited to grab these. Then we had some jeans from J. Crew. These are the matchstick cut, and I love that green color. 
Next up, a designer find. This is a Trina Turk skirt. I was thrilled to see this. Trina Turk is always priced so well in my area because there's a fair amount of it and I don't think anyone knows what it is. Next up, this was a brand that I'd never heard of, but it had the original tags attached and seemed like great quality, so I looked it up, and that shirt probably retailed for about 150, 160, and I think I'll go buy more from the website. I was really excited. Then you already saw that flapper dress as I was holding it up. And then this dress, I actually thought might be vintage, except for the tag, because it was giving me real 60s party dress vibes, which is one of my primary aesthetics, and that is probably how I will style it. If you wanna see how I style all of these, be sure you're following me over on Instagram. But as I mentioned, since the tag didn't look vintage, I looked it up and the maker is actually West by East and they do South Asian bespoke cultural clothing and they will do Western fusion as well. So that might be what I found there or that could even be a one of a kind piece. Really cool, really gorgeous. And speaking of gorgeous, look at the fabrication on this. I love finding high quality, heavily embellished things. There is not nearly enough embellishment in most clothing for my tastes, so I love to find something like this. I'm not totally sure if it will fit, but I will make it fit. And that is what I got on this trip. As I said, if you want to see me try on the items, that will be a separate video. These items and items from another thrifting trip that I went on as well. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. If you wanna see me style the items, go over and follow me on Instagram. I will link it below, but it's the same username, at Style. As I mentioned, I have videos on here every Monday, so I'd love to see you back here. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video. It really does help a lot, and I appreciate it very, very much. Anyhow, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you next time for more shopping and style. Bye. No regrets, just revanche.